Are you on insulin or do you know someone on insulin and you notice that they are gaining weight or you perhaps have gained weight when you went on insulin? Well, make sure you guys are tuning in today because I am going to talk about insulin and weight gain and why it happens and what you can do to prevent this it. This Diana Bitucci. I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel, The Voice of Diabetes. If you are new, please consider subscribing. If you are enjoying this video, consider giving this video a thumbs up. So today we're going to talk about insulin therapy and weight gain. We know that insulin is great. Insulin has been around for a very long time. And we always we use insulin for the treatment of type 1 diabetics. To date, that is the only treatment that is approved for type 1 diabetics. And of course, we use this for type 2 diabetes as well, and uh, you know, gestational diabetes during pregnancy. So insulin is great. It's a life-saving medication, and we know that we use it all the time. I use it all the time. But why am I always hesitant when I start patients on insulin? And that is because it can cause weight gain. One, it can cause low blood sugars, which is hypoglycemia. And I uploaded a video on that earlier this week, so make sure you check it out. But then another side effect that we absolutely dislike, especially my diabetics who may already struggle with weight gain, we know that this causes weight gain. I've mentioned in previous videos that even a 10% weight gain will make you even more insulin resistant, so what's the point? There are times where we absolutely have to start the patient on an insulin. Type one, of course, being one of them, and then of course type two, when oral medications are not enough. We see that all the time. You know, I'll start the patient on an SGLT2, on a GLP, on metformin, and of course the patient keeps coming back. Although their blood sugars are improving, they are still not a target range, and at that point, of course, we have to consider um, starting the patient on insulin because we know that uncontrolled diabetes can have detrimental complications such as vision loss, kidney disease, heart attack, stroke, and amputations, and so much more. So insulin is a hormone that is produced by the body, and it helps control the amount of sugar in the blood. So insulin acts like a key. It literally goes in and opens opens up the cell so the glucose can get can get inside the cell and and use it for energy if we don't have enough insulin on board or because we're not producing enough insulin or we're very insulin resistant meaning we we're making enough insulin but we cannot use the insulin appropriately what happens is obviously the blood sugar levels become too high we develop what we call diabetes um, which is when the blood sugar levels are literally too high in the bloodstream when we give insulin, what happens is now we are giving the patient enough keys to go in and open up the cell and the, the glucose can get in and now we can start using it for energy. So you may notice that some patients who have very uncontrolled diabetes, they will lose weight. And you know, a lot of people are confused by that because you would think that diabetics gain weight and you know, or they're overweight or obese, but then you have someone who has a hard time keeping weight on, they're eating, but they're still losing weight. Well, that is because when the blood sugars, are, the cells internally are starving. Although you're eating, you have no, you don't have enough keys to open up the cell and feed the cell. That's why you lose weight. When we start to manage the patient's diabetes, where we put them on insulin, all of a the sudden their body, so the metabolic state is much more controlled, and now those cells are no longer starving because they're getting the proper nutrition. So the patient starts to gain weight because now the, the cells are getting the fuel and the energy that they need to continue going. As a result, when I see a patient who's uncontrolled and then they follow up again in six weeks and they've gained you know, eight pounds, I get very excited because I know that now their blood sugars are being a lot better managed and that is why the patient is gaining the weight back uh, that they may have lost unintentionally before they were even diagnosed with diabetes. When you become more efficient in using the carbohydrates that you're eating, now the body stores more and more of the energy as fat and that is why we, insulin can cause weight gain because we, we're storing that glucose that we can finally take out of the bloodstream and use it for energy but we're storing more and more of that as fat and for that reason um, you know you can gain weight while being on insulin However, there are ways that you can avoid this. So of course, sometimes you cannot avoid the need to go on insulin um, because obviously we gotta make sure that we're controlling the diabetes as much, as best as we can. However, dieting, um, you know, keeping a, having a low carbohydrate diet is very crucial. So I tell patients portion control is very important when you go on insulin and really balancing your, your plate. 
because remember, although we do need glucose, having too much glucose stored as fat is obviously going to lead to weight gain and it just can, the cycle kind of continues. So I say make sure you're getting a good balance. A lot of vegetables, non-starchy vegetables, whole grains, you know, healthy uh, fats and a lot of protein is very crucial. And of course, eliminating all the sodas, juices, if they may be, if that may be part of your diet, um, that's also important, you know, and just making sure that you're not eating just because you're bored or just out of habit. So I tell patients to really keep track before they eat. Are you really hungry? Or are you eating just because? Um, so that's also good to start to be mindful of that, to know exactly why you're eating. We tend to be emotional eaters or just boredom eaters, but really knowing the reason why you're eating is very crucial. And of course, um, exercise is very, very important. So I tell all my patients, make sure you're staying as active as you can, walking, biking, running, dancing, anything that you are you can do more than just sit down is gonna be very important because of course, that keeps us in better shape, it keeps us our blood sugar levels, and a lot of times, sometimes I'm able to take patients off insulin if I'm, if I'm treating them for type two, once they really start to see the impact that insulin can have and the need for them to closely monitor their blood sugars a lot more, you know, the fact that they can gain a lot more weight, sometimes patients become very serious and they lose weight on their own. And of course, when they come back, they're noticing that they don't need the insulin anymore because their blood sugars are a lot lower. And believe me, I am the first one. I am so happy to take patients off insulin. Uh, but if you must go on insulin, remember to be very cautious as it can cause weight weight gain as be because it's storing the glucose as fat. Just make sure that if you are on insulin, you don't, you know, you can't just stop medications without talking to your healthcare provider. So if you are that person and you know you plan on really staying more active, eating better, if you already aren't doing all of those, then of course um, that's always a good option. And trying to come off insulin, if that's a possibility, is great. But that always needs to be discussed between you and your healthcare provider who really knows if that is the best option for you. Um, but if you must go on insulin, I want you to be mindful that it can cause weight gain. And I really want you to do everything that you can to prevent from gaining weight while you're on insulin by eating well and staying as active as you can. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and please share your own stories. If you've been on insulin, if you are taking insulin, things that you are doing to try and maintain a good weight. So, um, again, if you are new, consider subscribing and supporting my channel. If you like this video, give a thumbs up and I will see you guys all next time. Take care.